tonight. Thank you so much for listening. Please welcome to the stage, Danny D. noise you guys wow I don't have high expectations it's Virginia it's all right I really don't man I went on tinder last night I'm from California I went on tinder here in Virginia and was like nope 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 all you guys but these fucking lights oh my god I feel like I'm on the big stage Jesus Christ I can't even see I like to do crowd work but I can't even see half of you you two stole our spots so congratulations but I was like I'm not gonna fuck with them they look hardcore. <laughs> I love guys that look like they're super tough or that are super tough, you know? I like guys that have their area codes on their neck. Mm, what is it here, like 757? Yeah. That's pretty hot. You got a domestic, it's not your fault. <laughs> the worst thing though a guy could tell me is he's got like full custody of a four-year-old. No, I'm sorry, I'd rather you have herpes or gonorrhea. A fucking four-year-old? What happened to the mom? Did you kill her? <laughs> Moms don't just get to leave, do they? <laughs> Fuck. I wish I would have known that when I had my two. <laughs> I always tell my two kids they should feel blessed because I aborted the rest. <laughs> you could have had brothers and sisters. Mommy wasn't feeling them. Mommy did not want them. My daughter is like, where would I be in the lineup? Don't you fucking worry. <laughs> Don't you worry. <laughs> I could have had an older brother. Shut the fuck up. No, you couldn't have. No. Uh, my grandma hates that joke. She's like, Don't fucking tell people your business. And I'm like, That's what I'm on stage for, man. That's what I'm on stage for. My friends and I, uh, we get together on Tuesdays and we talk about dicks. Yeah, audition tapes we get for the week. Because men are fucking, men freaking gross. Yeah, they send you audition tapes like, look at what I can do, look at what I can do. Pictures. But if you uh, do me right, I'll refer you to a friend. I'll be like, girl, he is so good, you gotta try him. Gotta have him, we do stuff different in California. You guys aren't laughing about it, fuck you. <laughs> I don't care. We share in California, it's all right. We're not jealous over there. We talk about it all. Talk about it all, it's no big thing. I was trying to tell my daughter she was upset because she's never had a boyfriend. She's 19. And I'm like, well, it's all right. You got your dad's boobs. It's going to be hard for you. <laughs> you got to work on your personality. And she's like, no, I don't like to talk to people. And I'm like, come on. If, when I was your age, I only had one dick. I only got one dick. And that was your father. Now I'm 40, I get all the dicks. There's hope for you. There's hope for you. <laughs> she was like, mom, that's disgusting. <laughs> Don't talk to your kids about sex. And I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm gonna go out on a date. That's not true though. Back in the day though, you could have got it for a ride to Arby's. You could have just bought me Arby's. We could have gone back to your house. <laughs> Nothing better than sucking a dick after a beef and cheddar. <laughs> mm. You get that Arby sauce coming back up in your throat. <laughs> yeah, you swallow that, you're a champion. You swallow that, you're a champion, ladies. And I don't need you, um, you know, I don't need you to stick your throat, your dick down my throat. I know what I'm doing. Just lay back. I got you, boys. So I'm just, I was having sex with this younger guy. He was like 19. He was behind me and he was like, call me daddy. And I was like, hey, kiddo. <laughs> I'll call you son. I'll call you son because daddy knows what he's doing. Why don't you just... Why don't you lay down, let mommy take care of it. Mommy's got this. Sounds like two kids lost at a mall when I'm in the bedroom. It's weird. Some guys don't like that mommy play, but I know that's not true. I know it's not true because I'm a phone sex operator. And all you guys call me and they're like, pretend you're my mom. And I'm like, really? I wouldn't even have sex with my mom. <laughs> If I had to pick one of them, I'd pick like one of my aunts, I guess. Like, I don't understand that whole fetish of like, you want to fuck your, freak your mom. I'm sorry, I messed it up again. Oh, th those F words always get me. They always do. It's my favorite word sometimes. Sometimes it's my favorite activity. But anyways, um, all right, I'll leave you guys with one last thing. 
Depending on how well you, a man lays it down is depending on what day of the week you get scheduled at that woman's house. So if you're not putting it down so good, you're like a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But if you know how to lay it down, you're a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday's any Wednesday. It's the Lord's Day. All right, you guys. I'm Danny D. Those are my twisted thoughts. Give it up for Rock Allen.